Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize audio and video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This used to be a very difficult procedure, but in recent years Adobe have introduced a new audio synchronization feature, which makes this very straightforward, and I'm about to show you how to do so. So this is my typical setup for a face to camera interview type shot. I'll have two cameras on the job. I'll have a Canon 50 millimeter 1.2 lens on this camera, which is my medium to wide shot. And then I'll have a 135 millimeter lens on the other camera that allows me to get a closer crop. And also I'll have a separate sound source, usually a Zoom H1 or H4 that has a lapel mic or a boom mic connected just to improve the audio quality. So all up, that's three inputs that I'll be putting into Premiere Pro CC and I'll need to synchronize as easily as possible. So let's go ahead and synchronize those tracks. The first step, which almost goes without saying, is you're going to need to import your footage into Premiere. To do so, you can simply drag it from the folder directly into the project window. Once you've got your footage in Premiere, go ahead and create a new sequence, file, new sequence, and choose the size that you desire. I'm gonna be creating a 720p at 24 frames per second sequence. Now we're going to go ahead and create a multicam sequence. It's really straightforward. All you need to do is select all of your assets, right click on them, and select the option in the drop down menu called Create Multi Camera Source Sequence. A further pop up window appears. You can give your multi camera source sequence a name and leave everything else as is. And this will synchronize all of your video clips and audio using the audio synchronization feature. Select OK. And you'll notice in your project window, a multi cam sequence has been created. Drag it into your timeline, double click on it, and in the left hand window, I can see both of my camera angles, and to the right, I can see what's playing in my timeline. If I want to preview the different camera angles in my timeline, I can simply select on them in the left hand window, and the updates will appear on my main timeline. If I want to make permanent editing decisions between the two camera angles, I can simply cut into the main timeline and then right click on each clip and select my different camera angles. So I'll select the first cut over here as my camera one, which is the wider shot. And the second clip can be the multi-camera camera two, which is my close-up angle. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final edit. So this is my final scene where I'm presenting to the main camera. I've got a second camera over there picking up a close shot. And also, as I mentioned earlier, I've got the third track of audio provided by the lapel mic plugged directly into the Zoom H1. And as I've demonstrated, it's very easy to synchronize this using the sync to audio feature in Premiere Pro CC. Mm -hmm. 